Hey there are signs of the water tribes. It's your girl Cats and Wandering Intuitive and I am back with this week's horoscopal forecast for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio in that order. If you want to skip all the BS up there's the timestamps. Just tap on the title. It should have a drop down and you can get right to it. Uh, horoscopes for those who are new are short, quick, fast, furious, straight to the point. Uh, looking at the influential energies influencing your sign this coming week. If you have cards, please pull along. I have set the space so you guys can get a little bit more personalized forecast for your week ahead. So on that note, let's get going with Pisces. Hello there, fellow Pisceans. All right, major energy influence is hitting us this week. We've got two distinct energies with Pisces this week. We have the blender, things are being shaken up a bit, and then the wish, okay? <clears throat> which kind of goes along with the energies I've been picking up and feeling from the collective, respectively. The blender energy, I feel like uh, some things have to get, uh, how do I say this? Um, it's going to feel chaotic. It might feel like you're going through a blender, emotionally, especially there are Pisces. So make sure that you stay grounded and be honest with yourself. There is a lot of times when we just know but we keep going towards it anyway, or we're still involved with those energies, be it a person, place, or situation. It could be a job, it could be home, you know, where you're staying or living. Um, it could be in a, an ex-separation, you know, type of energy too. Um, it's about honoring that truth within yourself for those going through the blender. It's gonna get busy and it's gonna get chaotic, okay? We don't wanna be swept away with that. You need to stay centered and grounded, lots of water. Lots of water, Pisces. Okay, the wish. So for those of you who have gotten through the blender already, because everybody's gotten hit with this blender, blender energy in Pisces world for sure, as well as the entire collective at some point, uh, wishes are coming in. You know, just be open and allow. That's a big one. Accept and allow. All right, let's clarify that. Oh, we got the Queen of Wands right off the bat. Okay, we're using the Kawaii Tarot for our clarification. Okay, Queen of Wands, looking good, feeling good. There are Pisces, very a strong en a fire energy, feeling just like libido's up, <laughs> feeling sexy, feeling very confident. And not only that, but people are looking at you that way. Pisces is really standing out lately in a, just the most you know amazing ways. Not like we didn't rock it anyway, right? But it's just like now we're, it seems like we're being seen more. You may do stuff on social media. Um, or maybe even at work, we're standing out a little bit more. The cre creative energy is up and being authentic is up, you know? And also, we don't have to flex, you know, how great our lives are. We just have, we just show up by grinding and doing the work and putting in the work. Pisces, stay on that. It is coming and I feel like people are noticing you. Oh my gosh. Okay, look, nine of pentacles, okay? Everything that you work for is coming to culmination now, this week financial, material, all long-term. Oh, I can't make this up. Nine of cups for some of you, it's love, okay? Now for the blender, <clears throat> there may be uh, a toss up with work or uh, uh, financials, okay? We've got the queen of pentacles in reverse for you guys coming in that will be experiencing this chaotic energy. You need to stay stable, okay? If the chaos comes in, okay? Because it's all geared up. I feel like when things get to its apex for those in that blender energy, you're gonna get a sign. You're gonna get a clear message from someone. Just all of a sudden you're gonna be like, and it's gonna just, it will stop everything. And you'll be able to see clearly, be open for this, this person coming forward. It could be a fire sign possibly. And I do feel fire very strongly influencing Pisces this week. Um, <clears throat> there's something or someone that's going to come and make it stop. Make sure you're paying attention to the signs. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Don't dismiss your dreams. Our intuition is heightened there, Pisces, especially for those going for the uh, going through the chaos and stuff. Uh, things are being rearranged and removed. We need to allow that because this page of wands could be an Aries Leo Sag coming in. It's going to bring you something that's going to make you go, whoa, because it's time to go. Eight of Pentacles. Time to go and get to work on what is yours what you want to bring in but things have to go and i think that's what that page of wands is coming in to tell you something has to go so you can really truly get to work there pisces so on that note have a great week and remember stay grounded drink a lot of water take care hey there cancer all right 
This is interesting. Okay. This very strong influential energy coming in of the keys. Um, this is the super awesome fortune cards. Okay. Um, that we're starting off with picking up the energies, the keys, the keys to your kingdom, the keys to paradise, the keys to your dream job, the keys to your dream relationship. The keys are being handed to you. And I feel for so many doors are opening in the most unexpected ways. You're not going to see this coming now. It feel for cancer, there's stuff coming up from the past still is just huge. And I'm like, why are they picking on cancer for? So we have the zombies, okay? The zombies are here. It's like, ugh. Okay, so the zombies. <clears throat> These are people that have uh, basically what's going on out there, as you well know, is people are leaving. People are, are looking into themselves going, I don't need this anymore. Breaking toxic cycles, rem you know, clearing karmic contracts and just moving forward and things are looking really good. Well, other people see that too, okay? The good and the, I wish you, I just never had went there, <laughs> okay? So here's the thing. <clears throat> These are, these are people who are starved. These are people who are desperate. Now, this isn't going to affect every cancer. Remember, we do have the keys in play. Okay. But as you, uh, like, say on Facebook, innocently enough, oh my God, I got my dream job, blah, blah, blah. And everybody's like, yay, yay. And there's that one person. <laughs> oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, the kiss up. I was thinking about you but you're not the same crab that they once knew, okay? Be strong there, protect your stuff, be wise with your generosity this week. Right now, you need to be smart with you, okay? Be clever, okay? Be clever, you are now the fox. They're not the fox anymore, okay? I don't know who this is for. They're not the, you, you are the fox. You protect and guard your own so it's all about you this week, Cancer. Let's look at the keys. So be wise. Follow that. Trust that beautiful instinct yours. I don't care if at one point you were waiting for this person for a long time and then you finally moved on. Look, Ten of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> uh, it could be people. This could have been a past ex that just shattered you. Okay. But you have the strength. You're stronger now. You are stronger. This energy is flowing very strong in uh, the water signs, fire. Very strong fire energy, okay? All right, you need to tap into that. You have this cancer, okay? You really do. You've got this. Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. All right. This is the Kawhi Tarot, by the way. Okay, the Empress energy. Things nurture yourself. Everything is reflecting that. I feel like a lot of you are coming into that realization, seeing it on the ground in the physical plane without question, especially with the keys in play. Because you're doing that, doors are opening, things that you, that you broke the ceiling on limits. Like, well, that's never going to happen. That's not going to, uh, boom, wheel of fortune coming around for you on the ground. Fate, destiny, okay? And just because these past people come back or coming back in sniffing around, um, you need to see if they're in alignment. How does it feel for you? Really, this is going to be a test for some people, but you have the strength, okay? You're not the same person, okay? Um, we do have the page of wands in here, okay? A little passionate messages coming in, but I feel like I have to strongly warn you now, this may not be for every cancer out there because I realize a lot, you know, there are some out there who are in committed relationships, okay? <laughs> we have the Hierophant. Uh, you've got three major arcana, boom, 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 right there for you, cancer. It's time to move on, okay? And maybe it's moving on from the past, okay? We still have retrogrades going on, but I'm gonna tell you this much, no more five of pentacles for you. This is in reverse. You're not alone. You're very stable and strong in yourself. And that's bringing, opening up a whole new world coming in for you. So remember, don't be afraid of any open door. The new open doors. Take care of cancer. Hello there, Scorpio. All right, let's see what's influencing your week. Remember, take everything with a grain of salt. All right, first off that jumped out was the snake. Okay, sneaky people still trying to get in there. In fact, they're trying to tie you or weigh you down, hold you back. Scorpio, you have busted your ass to, you know, uh, cut off the manacles or the chains or the weights that have bound you, whether it's emotional, 
financial, uh, you know, environmental, home, um, or even work related. It could be coworkers, it could be exes or, or you know, current, current partner. Um, it could be family members trying to uh, watch out for this, okay? I feel like they're trying to anchor you down. Uh -uh. Trust your intuition. Things are going to be shown in ways, and then number 33 is, for some reason, they were like, say 33, so whoever that's for, okay? All right, now, pay very, very, very close attention to your intuition. It's gonna be screaming at you this week. It's gonna be like, I just feel this huge, um, like psychic heightened energy hitting Scorpio, extremely strong and blasting light everywhere in the shadows, okay? And I heard uh, play to your strengths this week, okay? Maybe you just need to sit back in the dark corner and just watch, okay? And pay attention see what they're doing i think it's gonna be very clear and there's gonna be some reveals some truths that maybe your intuition has been you knew but you kind of pushed it back there because you didn't want to deal and you're like i'm gonna keep doing my thing but there's things that need to be faced here and done and said and it's over okay communication is extremely highlighted here there's going to be a lot more communication than normal whether it's from your you know your uh, spiritual practice um or from people <clears throat> for some of them uh i'm sorry for some of you we have the pig energy. It's talking about being very wise with any extra money coming in this week. I do feel, see this influx here. So maybe that communication could have to do with a job a bonus. Maybe I feel like unexpected things this week for Scorpio. So pay attention because spirit's not, I mean, they're talking. Okay. So I heard that it's going to come out of the blue when you least expect it, but they will give you a heads up if you're paying attention to your beautiful intuition there, Scorpio. All right. All right, spirit. Let's clear. Oh, jeez. Scorpio with you. Ten of swords. Eight of cups. Okay. For that snake and anchor energy, for those that, okay, I'm just going to leave this there, spirit. <coughs> for those, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Okay, that was a big hit on me. I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, I felt like I got throat punched. Okay, um, this energy from the snake person is someone who is extremely <sighs> wicked with their words, okay? Not that you're not Scorpio, but I really feel that this is someone who knows how to not uh, hit you, hit you. Okay, All right? They don't want to hear your truth. You need to hear theirs because no, no, no. Okay? It's someone, but to see, the cycle's ending. It's ended, but they haven't let go. Okay? This is part of that one group in the collective that they are just, they're pulling, but they're being so obvious about it now, and it's not like you won't be able to see it. Scorpio, it's up to you. But it's time to go. You know, there's no more, your cups, the cups are empty. Look, they're upside down in this situation. However that applies to you, work, love, you know, environment, family, friends, there's, it's, they're empty. So now you're on the search for more. Okay, something, there's, I know it's time to go because I got to go, it's elsewhere, okay? <clears throat> okay, yeah, we have the four of cups in reverse. No more. No more being disappointed. I feel like there's going to be a renewal with that moon energy coming in. That beautiful, um, yeah, you got the moon and the sun. Look at this. Okay. Good things are coming your way. I really feel strongly, especially financially and career-wise. Uh, that's on the upswing for you there, Scorpio. Five of Wands in reverse. Okay. So, <clears throat> and the Nine of Wands. Okay. So, you may be tired of fighting. You're tired. You're like, I'm done with this. I'm done fighting for what I want to do. So you know what you do? You just go, you know what? It's okay to, you don't have to win every fight to move forward. You know, you can just move forward. You know, they can try to fight all they want, but what they didn't see, that's this. This is them losing five of wands in reverse. Look, what they didn't see is that even though you're tired and exhausted and you're just like, I'm so over this, it has to end. And I feel that for a lot of you watching this, you know this. Um, you have this nine, nine of wands energy coming, which is also known as the Brotherhood card. You're gonna be getting back up in a, a surprising ways. You're gonna have what you need to end this and finally go forward free. No shackles, no anchors. So on that note, have a great week, Scorpio.